Questions, why did Rahab help the spies? How did the Israelites attack Jericho? What happened to Rahab and her family? Rahab hid the spies. When the Israelite spies went to the city of Jericho, they stayed at the house of a woman named Rahab. The king of Jericho found out and sent soldiers to Rahab's house. She hid the two spies on the roof and sent the soldiers in another direction. She said to the spies, I will help you because I know that Jehovah is on your side and that you will conquer the land. Please promise me that you will save my family. The spies told Rahab, We promise that no one inside your house will be hurt. They said, Tie a red cord in your window, and your family will be spared. Rahab let the spies down by a rope from her window. They went to the mountains and hid for three days before going back to Joshua. Then the Israelites crossed the Jordan River and prepared to take the land. Jericho was the first city they conquered. Jehovah told them to march around the city one time each day for six days. On the seventh day, they marched around the city seven times. Then the priests blew their trumpets, and the soldiers shouted as loud as they could. The walls of the city came crashing down. But Rahab's house, which was on the wall, remained standing. Rahab and her family were saved because she trusted in Jehovah. Now the next story questions. Questions, what did the Gibeonites do to protect themselves? How did Jehovah help the Israelites? And now, Joshua and the Gibeonites. News about Jericho spread to other nations in Canaan. Their kings decided to come together to fight the Israelites. But the Gibeonites came up with a different plan. Wearing worn-out clothing, they went to Joshua and said, We come from a distant land. We have heard about Jehovah and all he did for you in Egypt and Moab. Promise not to attack us, and we will become your servants. Joshua believed them and agreed not to attack them. Three days later, he found out that they were not from a distant land. They were from the land of Canaan. Joshua asked the Gibeonites, Why did you lie to us? They answered, We were afraid. We know that Jehovah your God is fighting for you. Please do not kill us. Joshua kept his promise and let them live. Before long, five Canaanite kings and their armies threatened the Gibeonites. Joshua and his army marched all night long to rescue them. The fighting started early the next morning. The Canaanites began fleeing in all directions. Everywhere they ran Jehovah hurled huge hailstones down on them. Then Joshua asked Jehovah to make the sun stand still. Why would he ask Jehovah to do that when the sun had never stood still before? Because Joshua trusted in Jehovah. The sun did not set for a whole day until the Israelites had conquered the Canaanite kings and their armies.